So it's going to get the back of the neck here just to control the posture and just the wrist here. So if it was in the gi, you can go in the collar on the sleeve, no gi, go back of the head and wrist. I'm just going to place my foot on the same side of the arm that I've got into the hip and I use that to just edge my hips out to the side here, okay, just to curl my hips around his elbow. Then I throw this leg over the shoulder and lock my feet up the top. From here you've got an array of choices. So I can take my other hand on the back of the head, go underneath his leg, I can sweep all the way over, I can stop in an armbar, I've got heaps of options here. Also, if I'm here and I'm going for armbar and he starts to pull his elbow out, I can come back and land in triangle here as well. So there's a lot of good options I have. So you can do it again, do it each one? Yep, here, back of the head, wrist, onto the hip, move my hips out, then I throw my leg over the shoulder, and lock at the top here. Okay, so the sweep, I hold the back of the head, I go underneath his leg with this firearm and just kick all the way over, all the way on top to mount. The armbar, once I'm here, I'll just change to push the head here a little bit, hold the wrist, and then straight over, one, two, got my straight armbar. And then my third option, if he starts to pull his elbow out, I simply just stay here and start to lock the triangle in. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm.